Welcome all of you to today's class. Uh, we will be discussing today the procedures in practice. Our selected systems today, gastroenterology and the few topics on nephrology. So, if we come to the first uh, patient with a picture, uh, then it is an endoscopic view of the picture. So just have a look and give your opinion. But maybe the answer again as before, just raise your hand first. One minute time for you. Sharia ready. Another please. I'm just giving some clue only, not the answer. There is a reflux and the picture. So both maybe the two key areas to be addressed. So Dr. Shahriar is ready to give the answer, please. I think it is Barrett Sesophagus with some ulceration. Can you explain where is the ulcer, where is the Barrett, where is the vagus? Uh, what is this? What is this? I am just guiding you. What is this? This is the junction. So in? Uh, Esophagus? Sorry. Stomach. Uh, sorry? This is the esophagogastric junction. Uh, esophagogastric junction, yes. This and is the, the junction. And, and this area, this area, stomach or esophagus? Uh, this is the esophagus. How this are, area you are highlighting with the cursor, this is esophagus. And is, is it the metaplasia? Why this is yes. red? Why this is red? Uh, due to metaplasia, I think. Metaplasia. What is the original color of the esophageal? Pinkish, pinkish, like pink, is light it, pink. Is it visible anywhere? Uh, yes, it is a bit before. Like, uh, is it? Um, left side, if you can consider. I am moving the left side. Here. I am moving the cursor here. In this uh, maybe, maybe. So is it pink? Not pink, lightish, whitish, like light, light color or the white light color. color. So it yes. is not pinkish. What is the reason of that? This color, natural color, is not red. Yes. Why this? This is not red. This is the metaplastic yes. change, like this gastric yes. epithelium. But this one is not red. What is the reason? And uh, like this. Uh, Okay, let's see. Let's hear from Dr. Uh, Razwan, please. Can you Maybe candidiasis. Huh? Because there is no this. This you, you are saying this one is why this is not red. You are saying this this thing. Yes, this is the original esophageal. Uh, yes, Dr. Razwan, right. Right. Let's say why. Sir, uh, the white area. Sir, uh, These are I cannot any basic understanding. make any comment. Basic understanding. If you come to the knowledge we gathered before of the epithelial tissues, there are some simple layer, single layer epithelium. There were somewhere multiple layered epithelium, right, Dr. Uh, yes, right. So the Almighty actually created in a manner where the chance of friction is more, friction is more, the epithelium there is thick. <clears throat> right? The great example is skin, isn't it? Yes. The skin is more in touch, friction. So skin rather protected with horny layer, right? Hornified layer. <clears throat> Keratin, keratin there. Similarly, esophagus also in a tube where the epithelium should be a little thicker. So the epithelium of esophagus is a stratified strong. Right? We don't expect more secretion of anything from the esophagus. So the multi-layered esophagus 
cannot show underlying blood vessel too much brightly clear now <clears throat> dr rizwan can you hear please be with me right for that wherever the epithelium is thick multi layered the color is not red but this is stomach epithelium there is a full of glands and other many things blood supplies so this layer is single layer and the epithelium is red right sir just i like to correlate in the cushing syndrome why the striae are purple side by side Speed. compare compare the striae in pregnancy this is white right this is white right. striae gravidarum is white but in the cushing a striae is purple purple means a, a little reddish hue is there because in the cushing syndrome subcutaneous fat is lost not there so underlying blood vessels are becoming visible more than normal skin so the striae are purple so this is the explanation of that color impact or color appearance in different epithelium there are some other thing also it is not the time to discuss everything uh, with this color and other issues only one thing in the respiratory epithelium to talk about Uh, there are two types of epithelium in the alveoli, right? Doctor is one, two types. Yes, sir. One is the simple squamous, another one. Stratified. No. Doctor Rebecca. Columnar. Sir, I I lost the question. Sorry, again the question. Alveolar epithelium. Epith oh, sir. Sorry. Alveolar squamous, simple squamous epithelium. Simple squamous, sir. Simple, simple squamous. Another one. Alveolar cell. The body cell. New, new, keyboard new, cells, yeah. Keyboard. This is the type one and type two cell, right? Right. Yes. Side, type two and type three. Why the squamous epithelium side by side keyboard are also there? For the squamous is a very thin layer, single layer. These squamous cell actually uh, give access the movement of the gases. Yes, yes, yes. But keyboard cell is a keyboard containing many materials for the secretion, granules. You know the surfactant, surfactant, secretion. The type two pneumocytes. This is the keyboard. So this is the inner information regarding the arrangement of the epithelial cell. Could be single layer, multi layered, even the single layer. What should be the flat cell? What should be the columnar or keyboard cell? It depends upon the organs and its activity. Based upon this, the epithelial disposition throughout the body. Anyway. we will discuss it again yeah, somewhere else also so this question is over this is the stratified squamous epithelium of issue phaga so this is valid sir in the previous question uh, can you uh, show the ulceration sir there the... is no air yeah, here it could be ulcer maybe but yes, not sir. much clear on the left on the left side sir is it ulcer on the left side uh, left lower uh, lower region Actually, in the endoscopy, ulcers are visible as slab, white areas, multiple. Sir, multiple. why not? It is a uh, candidiasis. Uh, like, can in candidiasis there are some uh, whitish marks like this? Definitely, definitely, it could be DD of candidiasis. No problem. But candidiasis will be a more extensive. If sir, if I remember, sir, Barrett's esophagus comes with a description. It has a salmon pink. Uh, but it's quite red. Isn't it? It may be a little more. No problem. Color doesn't okay. mean that it will fit as it is what we are describing. It looks like sir hyperemia. Uh, no problem. Yeah. But hyperemia. This is the metaplastic epithelium. There is no other explanation. You just sir. compare with the inner epithelium of the stomach. So it's a darker area, so it is not that much bright. So the color is same. Stomach and the esophagus. This is the main issue. It is could be pink, red, white, whatever we say. It is should not be white, be red, or you say maroon, whatever the color, pink. This is red due to single layered stomach epithelium. Okay. So come to the next. This is the normal mucus at the bottom right corner of the photo. This one. This one. Okay. This is the tumor already developed in the lower end of esophagus. Growth is there. So it's a facial carcinoma at the top of Barrett esophagus. Now the second patient to you.
look at and uh, give your answer. Sharia is ready to give the answer. The remaining it is one. Another, please. Giving you some clue for others. Be active, proactive, please. Raise your hand also. <clears throat> this is upper GI endoscopy. Aspirin and mild tendon is the best answer there. So, what could be the answer now? the question so you see that the general ulcer gastric ulcer also eh? gastritis so by looking at the picture we have to be able to say this is gastric epithelium or the renal epithelium or esophageal epithelium yes. Yes. priority Dr. gastritis Dr. Rezwan, please Doctor, uh, possibly telling the Okay. This, uh, these are more. These are more looking like sir, uh, villi, sir. Villi, you think that this is villi. So, what should it be? Stomach or other? So, it's not a stomach, sir. But what? Yeah. Yeah. Duodenal, sir. <laughs> if it is villi, if it is villi, this is duodenum. And these are the ulcers. I told you slough like, right? Sir. Slough. These are the slough. It is not like our eroded epithelium. We are seeing the skin in the stomach. These sloughs are the ulcers by endoscopy. So it will be removed or uh, separated from there. And again, the villi identifies this is duodenum. And if it is stomach, there would be rogi. Rogi, right? What we say, rogi. Yes. And the isofecas already described before appearance of the